Hello viewers, I have been using Samsung Galaxy Fit 3 for a couple of days. Today in this video, I am going to reveal the reasons why I bought this Fit Band. The build quality of Fit 3 is excellent at the back you will get plastics but the sides are made of aluminium and it is very slim. It is only 9.9 mm thick so you will not feel the weight and also it is not at all bulky. If you compare this with any other smartwatch, it is very slim. Though it is not a smartwatch, it is a fitness band. However, you will not feel any kind of problem while wearing this on your wrist. Also, the silicone strap will give you a comfortable feel while holding or while wearing in your wrist. This fit band comes with many watch faces. In the band, you can store up to 10 watch faces and all the watch faces looks excellent. In outdoor condition, you can see the visibility and sunlight legibility is also excellent here. You will get 500 nits of brightness. Every watch face looks excellent, especially the black ones look excellent on this fit 3 so you will have a very good experience with the screen quality of fit 3 using samsung wearable app you can access up to 100 watch faces and also it comes with always on display and the always on displays are different with every watch faces so you will have a great experience with this fit band this is one of the main reasons of buying this Fit3. Another reason for buying Fit3 is the user interface. The user interface is very user friendly. It is very snappy. You will feel the snappiness while using this Fit Band 3. There is no lag or stutter. You can swipe from top, you can swipe from down, you can swipe from right or from left all are accessible on this Fitband 3. This Fitband is running on the latest software and it will get future updates also. As Galaxy Fit 3 is a fitness band, it has many fitness features. You can access those features by swiping right. You will get SpO2 sensor, BPM sensor, stress monitoring and also weather widgets and also many fitness tracking features. When you swipe right, you will get these notifications and you can also add many tiles if you want to add. I have made a lot of videos on fitness of Fitband 3. So if you are interested, check out the description and you will get the videos. The notification panel of Fit3 is very intuitive. You will feel like a smartphone. As you can see here, there are two pages of notification. So you can access these special features using the notification panel by swiping down and if you swipe up you will get these features like calculator stopwatch alarm health media controller etc another great feature is raise to wake feature it works perfectly well if you raise your hand it will show you the display and when you keeps your wrist down it will automatically turn the always on display so this is very snappy you can see here and it is a very good feature and the sunlight legibility as i have already mentioned is excellent on this speedband 3 so you will definitely enjoy the screen quality and people will ask you which smart band it is if you swipe right to the speedband 3 you can access quick tiles as you can see here and you can also add many tiles if you want to you can see there is sleep then weather, SpO2, BPM, stress level, calendar, step counter, also media player, calendar and also you can add tiles if you want to click on these tiles and you can add many more widgets on your Fitband 3. As Galaxy Fit 3 is a fitness band, it has special features on health tracking. If you click on the health sign, you will get all these features and you can access this information on the Fitband 3 also you can access these on the wearable apps and also on the Samsung health app and I have tested SpO2 sensor is very good however BPM sensor is sometimes not accurate in terms of giving BPM monitoring so these are some factors for which I have bought Samsung Galaxy 
Fit 3 Smart Band. If you have bought this Fit Band 3, let me know in the comment sections below if you are getting accurate results in your Fit Band 3. Some users are complaining about the wrong or inaccurate data on BPM and SpO2 and also step counting. So let me know in the comment sections below. Thank you.